the most important things is fit. And here at the ITRC, when I'm giving lessons, week after week we get players in that just, they don't have a really good ball fit. So it's really important not only to avoid injury, but to help with your consistency. And I have here with me Brian O'Keefe. He is our pro shop specialist here, and he's going to help kind of identify how to make your ball fit properly and what you want to look for, and just in case there's any pitfalls. Sure, sure. So Kim, if you don't mind helping me out and being my hand model for this little segment, uh, what we're going to do is when, when we're talking about a fingertip grip, what we want to make sure is that when the thumb is completely seated in the ball, what we're looking at is roughly the gripping hole comes between halfway between the two joints on the finger. So what that looks like inside of the ball is that, we, like I said, we make sure the thumb is completely seated and then roughly the leading edge of that gripping hole gets halfway between the two different finger joints. That makes sure because if we end up going a little bit too long and we're more towards the first joint of the knuckle, what that ends up having us do is squeeze the ball more to hang on to it. Conversely, if we end up getting too close to the second knuckle, that makes the span a little bit too short. What that'll look like is that we have an uneven rise of our finger, fingers as they're entering the hole. We want to make sure it's nice and flat across. Once again, this leads to adding excess grip pressure and making us squeeze the ball more for consistency. Now the other thing that we want to look at really quick is overall hole size. We want to make sure that we can get our thumb completely in the hole and both our fingers completely into the finger holes as well down to that first joint. If we end up coming up a little short, we end up having to squeeze the ball more. If we can't get our thumb all the way in, we end up having to squeeze it more with our thumb. Both of which don't lead to consistency and or accuracy. So with those things, I think you know, that's a quick little at-home fix that you can look for to make sure that your ball fits okay.